You're such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com. I think it's the final video, guys. The final video of today. Caught all up. All caught up. Until one of you rat bastards pay me more. <laughs> Which you will. <laughs> Are you complaining about money? Yes. No, I'm very, <clears throat> very thankful. Chris Beckloff, he's doing the Thanksgiving special on his podcast. He wanted me and a bunch of other guys put together some audio as to what we were thankful for. And I was going to say asshole consulting, but I think I, I didn't want to, which I am thankful for, but I, I said something else because I really thought about it. Like, like, what am I really thankful for? Not that I'm not thankful for asshole consulting, but anyway, neither here nor there. We have an interesting request. I had to do a little bit of research on this one. <coughs> it will be of benefit, I think, to many young men and women who are looking to go to college, to get an education, to get a real degree, but to avoid leftist irrelevant bullshit that has nothing to do with their degree. And that is where to go to a non-leftist, he says conservative, I won't hold out for that much hope, but simply a non-leftist school in engineering or STEM. Hey, Cappy, I know it's kind of dumb for a sophomore in high school to be focused on college already. It is not, dude. That is the time to get focused. You're doing outstanding. That's absolutely... Don't worry, I'm enjoying myself, not worried about much, but I decided to take a risk with my cash and ask for your advice. This is a very smart high school kid. I despise schools with a leftist environment, considering all the brainwashing I had to deal with and continue to deal with in high school, usually with Marxist theories such as social conflict. Anyway, I don't plan to get a degree in a useless field. I was toying with the idea of video editing. No, that's not a real degree. You can learn that tomorrow online. <coughs> for a while, but I've decided to stick with the plan and get a degree in software engineering. All right. However, I've noticed that one of the colleges I wanted to go to, which was superb in the tech field, was extremely liberal, also political CMU. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go down south, but as I'd like to stay close to home as possible, I think the East Coast would be the only way. Places like Georgia, Virginia, North Carolina might be good destinations. Hope you respond back. Well, yeah, you paid me, and I'm going to respond back. Um, your logic is right there. Because whereas the um, college or academic environment will be skewed to the left, at least you can get out to a traditional more conservative. So, you know, going down to Texas, the Carolinas, Tennessee, stuff like that. Florida, maybe even. I was also thinking if you went to, say, um, uh, what was the Crimson Tide School? Some place where you went with a large football, that would it wouldn't necessarily make it conservative, but it would be less liberal um, than average. But <clears throat> um, I got two solutions for you. So I did a little bit of research and tried to, and there's there's just not a lot. I found this uh, article from the Home Scholar. Um, how can a Christian find a good engineering school that is also conservative Christian university? Fortunately, I have a, fortunately, I have a friend who is a professor of engineering, and he shared some helpful suggestions with me. I had some colleges suggested by other homeschool parents who checked them out. Uh, these are some Christian colleges that have good engineering programs. Cedarville University in Ohio, Grove City in Pennsylvania, Calvin College in Michigan, Seattle Pacific University in Washington, George Fox University in Oregon, Letourneau University in Texas, Messiah College in Pennsylvania, Geneva in Pennsylvania, Olivet Nazarene in Illinois, Andrews University in Michigan, John Brown University in Arkansas, I always used to call it Arkansas, Union University, Jackson in Tennessee, California Baptist University in California, Bob Jones University in Southern California, and then they go on a little bit here. Um, so that's just a list to start with, <clears throat> um, but here's a problem that you're going to run into when you look for non-liberal colleges, about the only non-liberal, non-leftist colleges are religious ones. So in, in other words, you're simply going to be switching out one religion to another. Now the Christian colleges are not going to beat it down your throat unless you go to like say a Northwestern, not the one in Illinois, the one in St. Paul. Um, like where they're just generating more Christians, um, like they have divinity programs. Um, those are <clears throat> not only worthless schools, uh, but you're just simply trading in one religion, socialism, and leftism in for another, Christianity. Uh, so there's not that many secular, non-leftist schools that have degrees in engineering. So, yeah, you could go them. Oh, the other problem with these, I forgot to mention, um, most of them are private, and therefore you're going to be paying an arm and a leg for these schools. So I've come up with kind of two workarounds or two solutions. So in addition to that list, if you're okay with getting some indoctrination on Christianity 
And paying an arm and a leg, that's a list that you could start with. Um, but then some others did come from mine. Brigham Young University. Um, no booze, no partying, no nothing else. But it's fun because it's out in Utah. I get a lot of hiking in. <clears throat> Texas A&M. Uh, that's it. Georgia Tech. Again, getting kind of your southern schools down south where it's warm. That's another thing to consider. Uh... Urbana-Champaign, Illinois. University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. Really good uh, engineering school. Consistently highly ranked. South, but not the Creole, Southern South. Proper gentleman, debutante, and everyone's name is Beauregard. Um, but still, it's it's a relatively good school, um, anything, uh, people. And then also, depending on if, if you want this, I'd recommend, you know, if you want to get into geology or something, the School of Mines, like the South Dakota School of Mines, Colorado School of Mines, I think even Utah has a School of Mines, um, because it's very focused and narrow, kind of like going to a trade school. Like how out here in the Twin Cities, we have a, a trade school called Dunwoody Institute, and um, pretty apolitical, <clears throat> and they just train mechanics and programmers and stuff like that. Um, so if you go into a trade school, that's another thing. Uh, but those are those are some some colleges, uh, particularly the School of Mines. If you want to get into something that's very specific, it's only focused on engineering. Um, the problem or the benefit, though, that you're going to run into is, I know you want to go to a school that's not leftist, but keep in mind, you're not going to school for politics, right or leftist politics. I know you wouldn't like to be annoyed by it. I know you don't want to participate or have it shoved down your throat, but you can pretty much avoid politics going to school. Um, and you, you're you going to inoculate yourself. You know, you're not going to the, the School of Liberal Arts <clears throat> when you attend these universities. You're going to go to the, the School of Engineering or the Department of IT or the Department of STEM. And that right there will inoculate you against a lot of the leftist political indoctrination and bullshit. Now, don't go to Purdue. Purdue, they put the dean of engineering as some woman with a fucking liberal arts leftist social justice warrior bullshit. So don't go there. Do not go to Purdue. Um, but any legitimate school like a, that has a real engineering program, because of the nature of engineering and STEM and IT, it's realistic. It's math. There's no real opinion. Now, you will get if you go to these schools right off the bat, you are going to get your indoctrination in two ways. One, the freshman orientation. They're going to make you take all that crap. And then two, in your prereqs, all right, that have nothing to do with your, your degree. So that you really can't avoid, or can you? <coughs> Which is what I'm also going to recommend you consider doing now because I rarely see a sophomore. I have, I have a, a buddy who has a, a daughter who's a sophomore, and I'm like trying to get this kid... She won't even listen to me, so but you will because you paid good money. And so I want to make sure you get your money's worth. What I would do is I would go to community college for your first two years or go online to a, an online university like Western Governors University or Arizona State University online, something that's accredited, and just take your prereqs now, okay? I know you say, well, I haven't graduated from high school. I don't have my SAT scores. Doesn't matter. You could go online and take classes. Find you at your local community college. See if you can't take a class at night and make sure you get credit for it. So it's going to take a little bit of research on your part. <clears throat> you might be a little bit apprehensive of going online, but I understand. But if you want to, and maybe it'd be good to actually go to the local community college. Find out if you can enroll. Find out if you're going to get credits. You're going to have to pay, you know. But you might as well be knocking out these bullshit prereq courses um, in, in a two-year El Cheapo community school community college down the road, then flying off here, flying off there. You do it right. You do it right. You should have two years worth, or at least a year's worth of college classes done and wiped out, the bullshit done and wiped out, right, by the time you graduate from high school. And then you only have to go to college for like two years, or three, you know, depending on how much you knocked out. Or maybe just take your time, like you don't take a full load, just take it easy. <clears throat> but then you avoid... Uh, the lion's share of this leftist indoctrinated bullshit and poppycock. Right? You you just start going, you know, you enroll at the School of Engineering. You enroll at the... Now, you're also going to have to find out, like, let's say you decide you inevitably want to go to Texas A&M. You're going to have to find out what their requirements are to apply and attend Texas A&M. So, again, you may want to tailor some of the classes you're taking at community college. But at, at minimum, you're knocking out the political leftist bullshit indoctrination with a community college where the, where the culture there is a little bit more hands-on and cheap and it's not as political. It's not like you're going to Berkeley. You know, you go to Johnson County Tech or Johnson County Community College. Again, making sure it's accredited. 
Um, it's like, yeah, okay, here's your diversity crap, but you know what? I'm an I'm a adjunct. I'm getting paid my $18 an hour. Here's the shit. Let's get you done and through all this. Because you take your freshman comp or English comp, you take some May, whatever. That's what I would recommend you do. <clears throat> you, take, you take some of those classes, you wipe out the majority of your prereqs, and then you directly apply to an engineering program you'd like, and hopefully you start off right off the bat. Some of them might require you to take a class here or there at their university, all right? That might happen. You can't directly apply, but that's what I would do. I would, and look, it's going to impress anyone an applicant say, yeah, I've been going to college since I was 15 or 16 or however old you are now, um, and I got to jump on it, and then get good, really good grades, get really good grades, because that, that way you get into the engineering program. And I'll be like, dang, look at this kid over here. He's, he's got some hustle. And then you're already in an engineering program. You're, you're not dealing with politics. There's not, you know, the, the liberal arts kids who can't do math and don't like work. They're protesting on the other side of campus because they don't like going anywhere near the IT people. You're hanging out with a bunch of East Indians and, and, and Asians and everyone's kind of nerdy and getting their, getting their stem on, getting their geek on. Their make, and that is probably the best way and one of the more affordable ways for you to get yourself a, a STEM degree without having to suffer the, the political leftist stuff. So, I, you know, if you want to try it online, uh, see if you can enroll at Rustner Governors University, Arizona State, online. Then also inquire at local community college. See if you can apply, see if you can get it enrolled, and see if you get credit. That's the key. If you don't get credit, there's no point in doing it. Um, but I don't know what each state is a little bit different. And then, dude, <clears throat> you will be so far ahead of everybody else, not necessarily in terms of you want to be rushed, but you won't have to sit through bullshit Marxist professor, leftist indoctrinating shit. You won't have to go to a Christian uh, uh, college either where you're paying an arm and a leg and forced to take Bible history. You just, you can honest to God shock horrors of horrors if it could work in the real world. Imagine this. You could just go get your degree in engineering. <laughs> oh no! Alright, that's it. You guys got questions? Go to assholeconsulting.com. I, Aaron Claria, America's older brother, will help you for a fee. And look, look, we just saved this kid. Look how much time and money we saved this kid. He's going to be hustling, moving, shaking, hustling, moving, shaking. Probably don't even have any college debt. That right there was worth the price he paid. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.